into the world's first 360 VR neurosurgical aneurysm clipping. In actual fact, brain aneurysms are quite common, but the risk of rupture is very small. They're more likely to rupture in smokers and those with high blood pressure, but if they do rupture, they can have extremely serious consequences. When aneurysms do rupture, patients do present with the worst headache that they've ever had in their life, together with some nausea, possibly vomiting, and often photophobia. I've been thinking, thinking about you. So we can see now that the patient's being wheeled into the anaesthetic room where they're going to have a general anaesthetic and then taken into the operating theatre. At this point, I'll hand you over to Mr Chris Uff, who's a consultant neurosurgeon at the Royal London Hospital. Thank you very much, Alex. As we can see, the patient is being wheeled into the operating theatre. Once they're transferred onto the operating table, we mark the incision on the left-hand side. In this particular operation, we're actually going to be clipping two aneurysms, one on the left-hand side of the patient and one on the right, so we are able to reach across to the opposite side in order to clip bilateral aneurysms. So now the patient has their skin prepped using betadine antiseptic and this cleans the skin, prevents any infection. After the skin is prepped, the surgical drapes are put on and this helps keep everything clean. We put local anaesthetic in as well as a general anaesthetic, which helps reduce bleeding. So we start the operation by cutting through the scalp and we put these little blue clips on the edge of the scalp. What this does is it helps stop any bleeding from the edge of the skin. We then have to do a little bit more work in order to expose the area of bone that we need in order to do the operation. And you can see that the skin is secured. We're now going to start making a very small hole in the scalp with this very fine drill and then use another attachment to the drill to cut safely around a small trap door of bone which is really just behind the eye. As the bone is taken up we can then see the exposure of the tough outer membrane of the brain. This membrane is then opened in a very careful fashion. If you now look over to the screen on the opposite side we can see how the operation is progressing. The first thing that we need to do is expose the blood vessels that the aneurysms come off. And we bring a microscope in, we can see here, this is the middle cerebral artery with the aneurysm on the left-hand side. What we're doing now is in order to allow us to safely clip the aneurysm, we're going to put a temporary clip on the middle cerebral artery. As the aneurysm becomes softer, we can then very accurately put a clip onto the aneurysm to exclude it from the circulation, and this aneurysm is now definitively treated. The next stage of the operation, once we've clipped the left side aneurysm, we're going to turn our attention to the opposite side of the brain, and we've now brought in a retractor, and we're going to use this just to very gently lift up the underside of the brain. As we reach across to the other side, we're going to be looking for the other blood vessel. Once the aneurysm has been clipped, we make sure that all the bleeding has stopped and we're then going to close the wound. The first thing that we do is we take the little trap door of bone and we secure it in place using small metal screws. It is a very effective way of reconstructing the skull. Once we've done that, once we're happy that the bone is uh, secured adequately, the scalp is then sewn up using invisible stitches which don't need to be removed. Thank you very much Mr Ruff for taking us through this operation. 
We'd finally like to say thank you to the patients for allowing us to use their medical images, without whom this wouldn't be possible. Thanks to Fundamental VR for creating the world's first 360 VR aneurysm clipping. We'd also like to thank Artibiotics and Dr. Kearns, who created the wonderful medical illustrations that you can find both on this video and at realbrainbook.co.uk in a blog post. And thank you very much to Delta Surgical. They are purveyors of neurosurgical equipment to the NHS and they've supported those medical illustrations.